Well, hello, hello to all of my Geminis. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Geminis. Hopefully you all are having a great week so far, at least setting your intentions to have a great day every single day and not making room for anybody else's drama at all. Yes, this is a time for rest, resetting and manifesting. And as I always say, sit down, write out your list of things that you'd like to manifest during this cycle. We are in a new cycle. Yay! We're in a whole new cycle. Old cycle is over. Whoever's left out in that old cycle, wish them the best and keep on moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. Let's go. The energy has already been cleared, Gemini, so let's see what your cards have to say. This video is from the 29th of October through the end of October. Uh, the end of November. Oh, nice. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, lots of money. Three of Swords, Knight of Swords, and Knight of Pentacles, right? All right. So first of all, this, um, this, and I, I'm going to tell you, like I've been telling everybody else, Gemini's, is that we need to identify what our demons are, right? You all and Virgos are ruled by Mercury. So if it's uh, so every, every every sign is ruled by a planet right and that planet can either be responsible for and remember we're in human form so it's it's a your free will so that planet could because you all are communicators and your energy is directed outward that's divine masculine energy action oriented <clears throat> which we know has nothing to do with gender it's going to be how you commit, what messages are you sending out to the universe that could affect your money either in a good way or in a bad way. But this is what's coming your way regardless, at least eight streams of income, your, um, something having to do with you, your impact on your community and the world at large. It's big money. And also I see you working very, very hard. That is why I've been pushing so hard for everybody to pull their full birth chart. You can find it for free online. I try to provide as much free information as possible so that people don't have to pay for somebody else to break down their birth chart. If you, if you still don't have, you still don't know the link. I've been putting it all over my uh, my YouTube channel, um, please feel free to ask. I will, I will, whoever asked the question, I'll pin it there and just pin that comment to the top, but there's too much money in here. See, it's not even about just bottom line money. It's not just about what's in your bank account or what your credit limit is and that kind of thing. Cause that's also the energy of money, but it's also relationships with people, right? And so this right here is your impact. And certainly, you know, something could have been deeply disappointing for you or somebody, you could have felt like somebody said or did something wrong to you in some way, shape, form, or fashion, did or some kind of action towards you. You want to get as far away from that as possible because you never know how that'll come back later on and bite you. Most people don't think certain things are going to come back and bite them. So again, when I say, you know, somebody is getting away from something that may have been deeply disappointing, maybe it was a friendship that ended, maybe it was a job that ended, maybe it was a, uh, a romantic relationship that ended, but whatever it is, remember you're ruled by Mercury. Mercury is the communication planet. And if you say or do something that could eventually, could, that could mess up your money, you know, that could be Source's way of saying, okay, we're going to have to get that demon and we're going to have to get that demon. Some people's demons are overeating. Some people's demons are under eating. Some people's demons are uh, drugs. Some people's demons are alcohol. Whatever the demon is, Source is trying to bring that under submission. So with the amount of the energy you have in your, your, um, in your cards here, this is what Source is trying to help somebody with. The beautiful thing about us going through this solar eclipse that we went through on the 25th of the month is that it's, it's really like, it's, if you can imagine, it's Source's way of flushing out all toxins in your universe. That's if friendships didn't work out, if romantic relationships didn't work out, like clearing all of that out. And for some people, going through all of that or feeling like they've been forced to do it can cause you to lash out at people that in the in the long run, it could cause somebody to regret it. So you want to be very, very, very careful, very careful with, um, you know, with that. Um, I'm trying to think of, oh yeah. So when I, when I did the moon signs, I did the moon signs. So, so if you can't find the moon sign videos where it says the, the thumbnail says how to mother yourself, because in the meantime, it's how to mother yourself. One of the things that, um, one of the things looking at your cards here is that I do see somebody doing some community efforts. Some of you all, it's going to be a piece of cake, not a problem at all. It's like, you know what? I know how to control myself. I know how to control my mouth. Um, 
and I'm just going to move forward. I can see myself already here. I can see myself already here, especially if that's, if that is a, when you find out, for instance, there is a particular sign. I won't name the sign and because, I mean, they would think it's funny anyway, but it's not like talking about them behind their back because a lot of them texted me and started laughing. It was like, oh my God, you hit the nail on the head. But there's a sign that what kept coming out in their cards is this right here, like being conservative with their money, right? Which they really thought was funny because they're like, you know what? That's true. When I get stressed, I do spend a lot of money. And it's also coming out in your cards. And so... One of the things, because you are, and that could be a way of how you communicate too, is like, you know what, when I get stressed, you know what, I get on the phone, I start, I'm, I'm well connected, I get on the phone, I start calling up people, but again, and, and I start spending money, right? You want to be very conservative with that, like very, very conservative with it. As a matter of fact, ascending higher. Because it can come back, here we have the Ten of Wands, Source is trying to make somebody booked and busy, and so booked and busy, you never know who knows whom. I always try to tell people that it's like, and be careful. You may say you don't care right now, but then later on down the line, somebody knows somebody else that knows somebody else, right? So ascend higher so that you can see. And here we have the high priestess card tapped into your intuition. Like pay it very close because this is right here letting me know that someone is in a very sensitive space. This is Cancer and this is Pluto. And so Pluto is the planet. We we just had the new moon in Scorpio. One of Scorpio's ruling planets is Pluto. So Pluto is that planet of intensity. It's it's metamorphosis. It's shedding your old skin and ascending higher to a new uh, to a new space. And shedding higher to a new space. Looking at your cars here is not spending um, not spending money when you get stressed out, but finding out what your your moon sign is. And also nurturing yourselves. That's why this Gemini is different from this Gemini is different from this Gemini is different from this Gemini. Because again, what nurtures one Gemini may not nurture another Gemini. Like for instance, if Gemini, if, if you are a Gemini and your moon is Scorpio, when you get really upset, you need to go to the gym. Go work out real hard. If if um, your sun sign is Gemini and your moon sign, for instance, for instance is Cancer, then... Uh, there's a need for security there. So you're listening very, very intently to, and I'm, I'm using Cancer and Scorpio is because of these, these cards right here. But if your moon sign is Cancer, for instance, there's this need for security. So that need for security for you could mean that I'm very protective, but I also want that reciprocated in my relationships, meaning I want to feel the protection in my workplace, my friendships, my romantic relationships, family relationships, and so on and so forth. So if I don't feel that, that gets me out of sorts. So I need to exit stage left from that situation. So the more you the more you learn your birth chart and the more you know what nurtures your, your entire universe, the more powerful you feel and the quicker it brings you to this right here, the sooner it brings you here, right here. Because somebody has, when I see this, money, this much money in somebody's cars, somebody has given away a lot of money because of this. Because of this. Deep disappointment, frustration. But source, being as merciful as source is, <laughs> through a wheel of fortune, is saying to you, all you have to do is ascend higher, and it, and you're going to see it come from me. You're going to be able to get all of this back. All you have to do is see it come. You're just going to come directly from me. So it's not like it's coming from human. It's coming directly from source. Hopefully that makes sense to somebody because, again, losing out this much money for somebody could be like, wow. What in the world, right? And and um, the fact that air signs, as you, Libra, Aquarius, are such thinkers, you want to make sure that that Mercury, which is not retrograde right now, by now, by you all know that, which is not retrograde right now, is not causing somebody to send out the wrong messages to the universe. OK, because you don't want this. You don't want the loss of all of this to last for so long that it actually affects people. It, it Especially if I'm looking at this amount of money, this per these people right here in this car right here, creating jobs for people, opportunities and so on and so forth. Well connected, all of that. You don't want it to affect other people, especially if people are relying on you for for employment and that kind of thing. Uh, Gemini's, you don't want it to affect people where you're like, man, you know what? People are seriously thinking about 
what, what else am I going to have to do to start making money to provide for my family? So be very careful. Here we have build strength. This is a this is a call for somebody to understand how powerful source is. Looking at these right here, looking at this card, this is this is the outcome for somebody. At least eight streams of income, impact on your community and the world at large, big money, you working very hard and learning how to this right here, this is this is night uh knight of pentacles. This lets me know that somebody is um learning how to distance their emotions and stay focused, like learning how to really control their emotions, no matter how disappointed and overwhelmed you may feel, you're learning how to control your emotions and ascend higher. Okay. So that's what this is. Let's see what else we have here. But yeah, this, when I, when I, and I'm telling you all, like I've been telling the other signs overall, when I do a, when I do, when I talk about my energy has already been clear, but when I do a, a prayer over all the cards, all the cards, whether it's a love reading or whether it's a, any other kind of reading here, in your general readings, the energy of heaviness was not on the reading. Sometimes I do readings and I'm like, oh my God, okay, all right, let me let me deliver the message. There's not a message, there's not an energy of heaviness on this because having access to this amount of money here comes with a lot of responsibilities. It's also being responsible, feeling that responsibility or that heaviness of people relying on you as well, right? Which can which can be overwhelming, like I said, booked and busy can be also overwhelming and cause a person to be very bitter. So this is like somebody, this is like God saying, I'm hitting a huge reset button for you. Here we have a personal uh, issue reaches resolution. Yeah, this is like God said, I'm hitting a huge reset button for everybody on earth. What you do with it and what you pile back on your plate or what you return back to, what demon you return back to, that's entirely up to you. That's free will. So let's see what else we have. Let's see what else we have here. When I say demon, I'm not talking about a person. Two, two, two. I am balanced. That's right. Trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and actions. Let's see if we have an uh, uh, affirmation card here, which is from one of our tribes. These are affirmation cards from one of our tribes. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's see. Anxiety. That's right. Affirmations for anxiety. All is well and I am whole. All is temporary. I am grateful for change. I have all that I need in this present moment. I release control of the future. I am not alone. I am in charge of my mind. Every experience is a part of a greater plan. I allow myself to feel and let go. I am not my emotions. That's right. That's what I'm saying. Somebody's emotions are going to cause them to lose out on a lot of money. And I'm talking about the energy of money. That's what source is trying to help somebody to do is recognize that, hey, there's a lot of people that's depending on you with the amount of money here. Your community is depending on you. And if somebody doesn't have that, somebody doesn't know how to control their emotions, all of this could be gone. If, even though it's coming back, even though it's coming back for a lot of you all looking at here, this when I say the energy of money, I want to be crystal clear. So let me slow down for a second. Even if you are not a millionaire or billionaire or thousandaire, <laughs> we're talking about also relationships with people. We're talking about relationships with people, which, um, and also time being your currency, right? So it's the time that you're putting into relationships. And so just like on this card here with anxiety, I am not my emotions. You don't want to ruin this and then have to repeat cycles for years. Like some people are like, I can't, what is it? Is it me? Is it somebody else? I mean, what, what is it? emotions somebody's emotions if it's if, if if you're quick to anger and lose a lose out on something and in your mind you're justifying why you went off on somebody or whatever the case may be you could have gone off on somebody in the long run you'll see later on and i'm talking about can be a decision making for something you know for whatever it is that you're doing so that's what i'm saying here for your cars but like i said this is not anything for you to really truly stress over right at period really because again at the at the higher frequency you'll see what god is what message god is trying to get to you so this is your time of rest gemini rest reset write out the things that you want to manifest and again give all of that to source but please rest because that solar eclipse has made a lot of people very sleepy and tired and like what in the world is going on? The solar eclipse <laughs> plus we're in new moon energy. So anyway, this is what I see for you and uh, I will see you all on Friday. Bye.